Okay, hello, friends and followers. Here's an update on this BC654A. I did spend this afternoon or evening replacing all the capacitors in the bottom of this thing, the paper ones, they were square, like dominoes. I guess I should have shown that operation, but I didn't. Anyway, those are all looking like this. All those little black domino guys. There was a lot more of those. I just don't need these anymore. These were like .0. 2.2.1 uh, mostly in the few point ones, I think a point oh one, a couple of those. Anyway, that's where theirs go. So the good news is, well, I'm only still putting um, about 380 volts B plus in this thing. It wants 500, so that's a big drop in B plus voltage, and that's going to give me a lot less output, I think. But I got to get a um, center tap resistor for this thing to get get it up to like uh, 500 volts. I don't want to really mess with this thing until I get that resistor. So I'm still on low, low B plus power here. But <coughs> anyway, and I probably got to put a, um, a PTT relay into this thing too for push to talk into the uh, little power box there to make it work. But on CW, I can key the uh, key here and it will transmit. There's a little bit of power coming out. So if you watch the bulb here, when I key the transmitter, there's a wee bit of power there. And I'm on the highest position here. And that's the setting of the, uh, the antenna tuner. So I did clean up the antenna tuner today to make it nice and all that, so. And the thing is pretty persnickety. There's a little bit of RF movement here too, not much, but if you watch that meter, it moves up a hair. So at least it's working. And the, uh, boy, it's fading out now, isn't it? So the RF coupling is kind of finicky too. Let's go like this and see the radio of my foot. And, uh, okay, now it's working better. I'm not sure why. So anyway, when you turn the uh, antenna match here, it really is sensitive, so. And I guess you weren't supposed to spin this thing with it running, but. And one number five here, the antenna coupling is also rather critical. If you turn it down, you, you, I guess you want to keep this thing down as low as possible and if you bring it up too far you're overdriving the tube I guess so that's about that and if I take this to four here I don't really get a match a little bit let's see if I can dial it in four here it's not looking so good it's not very bright what if I play with this a bit coupling no so five wins and off we go so a little bit of drive out of this thing and I'm happy with that I, I can't be happier so that's about it I don't have the modulation working at all I can try that again and show you what happens but I found a potentiometer in this thing that I think's for modulation that was kind of not working right, I cleaned it up. I, I bet the microphone's bad, but let's see here. It's a carbon mic. Let's go to voice. There's voice, it already keyed up. Testing one, one, two, three, four, five. No, it, it doesn't come through unless I have the volume up real loud. So that's not working too good. So all I got working right now is CW, but I guess I'll take that. So now I have to get some decent B plus voltage in here. I gotta debug the mic and or AM circuits in this radio for the transmitting. And then I think it'll be done. So I wanna get that power supply box kind of cleaned up and get the uh, the PTT working because right now it doesn't work. There's a relay in the dynamotor box, boy, and I think probably in the uh, generator box too that pretty much only key the transmitter when you have enough power so that that was incorporated 
that if there wasn't enough power to key the radio, it wouldn't key. So the radio only keyed when it really could transmit well. Ingenious. Okay, thanks for watching. And over and out from the BC-654A. SCR2, I think 254, 264. And uh, yeah, here's the uh, little power conversion box. I'll go over this again, so. This is very simple. I just have a uh, halfway rectifier, 12 volts on these secondaries to uh, about uh, 19 volts, and then it kind of sucks down to about uh, 14 volts when it's running, and that gives me perfect voltages. Six volts at two amps here, so the filaments are taking about six volts to two amps. Again, just one more big fat diode in there, and that's going out to the uh, filaments. I can't run it on one final because the voltage will go too high. There's no regulation in here. And here's the uh, Heath kit back together. So I want to put a uh, center tap in here to get more power out of it. And we'll go from there. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Off it goes.